Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to review the new Jeffree Star lip, no, I can't even think. Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to review the new Jeffree Star concealer. I've been, I've been getting that wrong every time, I don't know why. So his new concealer has actually dropped not long ago. I think it was about three weeks or four weeks ago. And I've just been wanting it ever since because I absolutely love Jeffree Star, as you know. I love his makeup brand. My hair, again, I'm doing this whole touching thing. I just love everything about him. I think he's such an amazing kind of businessman. So the parcel arrived today and it was really, really good service. The really, really, it was really fast and it came on time. But the only thing that I'm really not happy about is the shipping, is the customs. Uh, I actually paid £12 custom charge and that's not down to Jeffree Star or his or his um, cosmetics line. It's, due, it's purely down to the customs and the way they kind of do their proceed, procedures. So it really does annoy me because it's not the first time that I've had a customs charge on something that isn't even kind of, you know, it's a bit of makeup. The last thing I had was um, the last custom charge I had, which I think you'll remember, was the Zala extensions. That was, I had a massive kind of um, charge for that. That was about £30. So it's been really, it's just heartening because one, you can't collect the package until you've got the, until until you've paid the charge, which is really annoying. And two, you know, you've, you've paid quite a lot of money anyway to have this item shipped to you from over, overseas. And to have to pay a customs charge on top of that is really, really um, frustrating. The main thing is the uh, parcel is here now. And I'm really excited to unbox it with you guys. I'm really, really, really excited. First of all, I'm going to take you through what I'm wearing, my face. You know I like to do this every single time. I like it's going to be it. So on my face today, I have the Beauty Blender foundation on. Uh, my hair I've just straightened and I've just got these uh, 14 karat um, HRH hoops. But I've taken the stars from, they're not the stars, they're love hearts. The love hearts off. They're so cute. Um, and I'm just got. I've just. I've done a simple eye because I'm, I might do like kind of an eyeshadow kind of look. Why every time I'm on camera, my nose itches. So yeah, I'm gonna do kind of an eyeshadow look. I think. Teeth. Great. Yeah. So um. So a simple kind of face. No bronzer. I've got foundation on, but I haven't got any setting powder on or anything like that because I'm gonna do that afterwards. And obviously, I'm going to test the uh, concealer. So all I've got is some foundation on. I like the way my hair's looking today. It's very silver. And on my lips, I've got the Bourjois. Is it Bourjois? I don't know. Uh, it's called Contour Levras. Levras in rose as lip liner. Then I thought, because we're reviewing Jeffree Star, it's only fitting to wear his lip sticks. So I've got the um, Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. And this is in Can't Relate. And I love the, the um, outside. It's kind of a glitter exterior. And it's a really nice kind of nude... pinky colour. Love it. So yeah, it's quite quite different for me to wear something that's matte because I'm really, really, really enjoying my lip glosses at the minute. So I'm going to just stop talking about this because of the, I'm, I never get into the actual review until about 20 minutes down the line. So it says our unique creamy high coverage liquid concealer formula comes in over 30 shades. What does it do? It helps even out skin tone. It has 20% pigment and can cover tattoos. Anti-aging properties to help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Increased wear time and a self-setting effect keeps you looking flawless for hours. 
So it's fragrance free, paraben free and talc free. So here it is. It came like this. I don't want to show you the address. And I instantly saw this wrapping paper and I just thought, wow, how amazing. It comes in absolute heaps of wrapping paper. It's such a lot, which I don't know what to do with actually. And then it also comes with an amazing, cute postcard. And that was the postcard. So it's got Jeffree Star and his models. And then it's got every shade of Magic Star Concealer. And I picked C8. Now C8, let's have a look where C8 is on here. C8 is actually sold out on the, on his website and it's for light to medium skin with olive undertones. Now this is the first time that his, um, that I think anyone has done a, a concealer with a, with a light, with a olive undertone because I've never seen that, seen it before. So I was really, really pleased when I, when, um, I saw he's coming at, he's came, he's come out with a new. So here is the concealer. It's so cute. I love the packaging. It's like a holographic kind of tone. Can you see? And it says full coverage, long wearing, anti-aging. I've read that already. Blend into the skin with a makeup sponge, concealer brush or your fingers in a pressing motion until you get desired coverage. A little goes a long way. So are you ready to see this, guys? How cool is this? Do you know what it reminds me of? You know Sailor Moon when she's got the, is it like that kind of wand that she has? It's so cute. It feels looks and it feels, this star here is not playing any games. It's very, very sharp. You could probably cut a bitch. So this is the shade and I'm gonna try it on. I'm very excited. So here we go. And apparently the doe foot is kind of a oval kind of shape. And once, apparently one swipe of this is supposed to like, give you so much coverage, you, you don't need to kind of double dip, it just gives you a lot of, um, what do I call it? It goes a long way. So let's try it out. Oh, I'm getting a bit nervous now. Okay. So I'm just gonna put some, oh my God. So this is one swipe and I mean, look, I'm going to put some on here, on my forehead. How much has this gone already? Maybe I'll put a tiny bit more. God, it does go a long way, doesn't it? So, really excited. So I've got my beauty blender. This is from the Morphe. This is a Morphe Beauty Blender, and I'm gonna just see how it goes. So here we go. Oh my God. So it's very tacky still, so it doesn't dry down very fast, which is really good because it always worries me with concealers. Oh my God, it is. Stunning. I'm just gonna. So can you see guys how much that's opened up my eyes? Do another swipe really. Cause I like quite high coverage. Let's do another swipe. Wow, it's brightened up my eyes so much. I quite like a lot, so I'll just go back in again. Oh, it's stunning. This is the perfect shade for me too. Oh, it's the best. It makes my skin. My skin appears so kind of brightened. Do you know what I mean? So instantly my eyes have brightened up. I'm really, really, really stunned. 
So I've got to have some gloss on because I feel more at home when I've got gloss. I don't know why. Wow, I'm really, really happy. So it's instantly, instantly brightened up my look. I am a fan. I'm just going to take the light off and see what it's like with this, without this light. Oh, wow. I'm really in love with this. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, I'm going to do kind of an eyeshadow look now. Just to tie the, the look together. I'm going to use my Morphe Jewel palette. I'm just going to do kind of, um, I'm going to do a gold look, I think. So I'm going to go with Fool's Gold. I'm just going to lightly dust on my eyelid. Something quite natural. I haven't done eye, um, an eye look in such a long time. I want to go for something quite bronzy. I may add just a tiny bit of rock out just in the corner. Just in the crease. So I've just added just a tiny bit of shadow just on my eyes, just to give, you know, to waken me up a bit. And then I'm going to put some bronzer and the look will be finished. So I'm going to add some bronzer now because I just want to brighten up my face a bit. I don't want to add too much. I love a bit of bronzer. A bit on my nose, forehead. Now my problem with makeup is I am very heavy handed. I mean, can you see how bright my eyes look? Jawline. I'm using the Too Faced bronzer that I love. And then I'm just going to finish off with some Becca highlighter in Opal. On my nose. And just the... Oh, this is such a beautiful highlighter. I like to highlight just above the bronzer. Look at how my eyes open. And I always like to go just a bit above my brow, brow bone. I'm stunned with how bright my eyes look. It, it's kind of concealed my kind of, because I don't really have bags, but... I do kind of have kind of dark cir circles and it's really concealed them. I'm really, really stunned. I'm very happy with this. So that's the finished look, guys. What do you think? It gives me kind of a fresh appearance, I think. Thank you for watching my review. I would definitely recommend this uh, concealer. I love Jeffree Star. I love his products. It's very premium. I've never had a concealer that kind of 
highlights my face and kind of hides as well. It's it's hidden my dark circles. It's kind of made my skin quite airbrushed. I just couldn't wish for a better coverage. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video. I've got so many videos coming up, so please keep watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to me and joining me in this journey. It means such a lot to me. Thank you for all your support, and I'll see you in my next video.